Hey guys, DJ here with another tutorial on Feed the Beast and this time we're going to be looking at a bit of forestry, extra bees and magic bees and a few of the little hive um, the hive bees that can be found on, the ser on your server or single player or anything like that. So I'm going to start by showing you where a couple of them come from. So this one here you can see is the forestry hive and it is pretty much just on a tree so we're looking at a bit of oak tree here um, bit of an oak tree, looks a bit different than um, vanilla oaks but that's because of uh, many, bi many biomes I believe, it's just changed this area a little bit so to harvest you can use um, a number of different items, so you can use your thormium scoop from magic bees, you can also use your normal scoop from forestry which is probably the simplest one to use earlier on and you can also use your scoop scoop Raider MX200 turbo which will um, charge with EU as far as I know and will actually um, harvest very quickly so I'll just show you the normal scoop for that one I mean creative, probably shouldn't have done that should I um, what I'll do is I'll just put one back up there and I'll just share myself okay that's alright apparently I died from being too high not quite sure how high that was though, it didn't seem very high at all, maybe it's because I'm in adventure instead of survival, no idea so scoop it up like that and you'll see that a bee comes out now for some reason only one bee come out of that one but often you'll get two and for the forestry ones for most forestry ones you'll end up with some kind, uh, usually a one princess and one one princess, one drone. So let's do this again. Survival, let's try this one scooper. Ooh, that went pretty fast. So there you go, you got uh, one water drone and one water princess. Now the pristine stock and the ignorable stock will go into it another time, but pretty much pristine stock means that um, the queen will not die out and igno ignoble stock means that the queen will eventually die out and you will lose it, so you'll have to find another one. All right. So that, that one there was the water the water hive, which you can find in um, lakes of water underneath the, um, the water surfaces and that kind of things. So these are our main hives. I'm not going to go into ender, ender hives here because they're not actually on monster for some reason, um, which is okay. But they will um, usually you can get ender hives or end hives at some stage. So if, first off, forestry adds five hives, meadow hives. Uh, modest hives, tropical hives, wintry hives, and marshy hives. So marshy hives, you can, they're pretty obvious where they come from, these ones. So marshy hives are from, uh, usually found in swamplands. Wintry hives are found in the icy tundra biomes. Tropical hives are found in the tropics, so jungles. And modest hives are found in dry areas like deserts, like you can see over there. And meadows hives are found in the meadows, like this little land here. I'm pretty sure there is actually a meadow hive around here somewhere that I saw earlier. Uh, each one drops a usually a queen and a princess, or a princess, sorry, and a drone drone of its own type. So meadow that one's a meadow drone and a meadow princess, etc. Right through there. Now these ones are the ones that are added by extra bees. These come from a bit of different places. So we'll start with a rock hive. Uh, the rock hive will give you my I can actually break them as I go. Now turn you on to survival. The rock hive comes from underground. Why isn't that one working? I think adventure, that's why. Uh, they come from underground and they drop you rocky two rocky drones. Or a rocky drone and a rocky princess usually. One thing I did forget to add in that the the valiant drone can only valiant drone, valiant princess can only be gotten through like a random five percent chance. So you've got a random five percent chance of any of these, when you break them, uh, a valiant drone will replace your princess or drone. Okay, so water hives, I've just shown you where they come from. Um, usually found underwater in rivers, sometimes in lakes. Um, I just I just broke that one, didn't check what it was. So we've got the forest princess. Forest princesses are found where i just shown you before, so in a standard forest area. Uh, the, marble, the marble hive, I have to actually think where they come from. Marble hive. I'm not sure where they come from now. Oh, that's I've got a complete mental blank there. Uh, I would say they come from underground. 
which is fine for them. For some reason, oh, I'm in creative now, so I'm not actually going to get. There we go. Oh, no way. Adventure survival. Okay, the Nether Hive is found in the Nether and will give you two embed, uh, two embed, uh, bit in, not two embedded drones, an embedded drone and and and, and an embedded princess. So they're only found in the Nether, and sometimes they can actually be found under the lakes of lava. So if you're using some kind of um, mining system or um, pumping system in the Nether, then you can always check the bottom of the lakes eventually. These unusual hives are found all around the place. Um, these are part of the Magic Bee mod. So they, uh, they will give you unusual princesses and unusual drones. Curious hives do not drop curious bees, I do not believe. Yet they drop mystical drones and mystical princesses. And the resonating hive drop sorceress. Now I can actually just show you where a couple, a couple come from. So these uh, bees are usually crossbred. Uh, most of them can be bred together to produce another bee. There we go, there's a modest hive over there. Um, I did see a resonating one somewhere over here. Uh, there we go, we've got two there. Um, I believe that's resonating. Yep, there's a resonating hive, there's another one there. Um, for some reason there's actually a lot in this area, but there's not, as far as I know, there's not usually this many. So there's another one over there. There's another one over there. I think I've just got a bit lucky with this um, cinder pearl. I haven't seen that one before. Um, I don't know why this biome actually has so many. I just think I got a bit lucky. And there actually is another one up there. So you can see a meadows um, bee up here. I'll just turn the rain off. So, but um, just a little tip for finding them is that you can see them at night time because they glow like a torch. So if I just, just stand here, I can immediately see there's one there. I can also immediately see that there is one up there, another one here, probably another one in the distance unless it's lava or something like that. But it's a risk worth uh, taking. Right out, and there's another one there actually. But I'll leave it here. Um, I'll finish it off. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you, if you do, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, if you do want a video of some description, please let us know and we'll do our best to cater for you and you'll probably see a few more bee mods a few bee tutorials coming out soon because I really do like the bees I'm going to go into a bit of uh, breeding and automation and automated breeding and a bit of DNA sequencing and all that kind of stuff so this is DJ signing out have a beautiful day